We are less than a month until the official election day, but for a large majority of San Diego County voters, the voting begins today through the month. Team 10 senior investigative reporter Jim Avila looked into the reliability of early voting. The voting machines are ready, but less than 10% of San Diego voters use them. That's right, more than 90% of voters mail in their votes, which started today. I believe in my vote. I believe the people who count my votes are honest here. Drop-off sites at the registrar's office open today. 39 drop boxes like these open Saturday, October 26th around the county. And on November 2nd, all 235 vote centers will be available for drop-off. Mail-in voting is underway and the registrar is not anticipating any problem. I have full confidence in the U.S. Postal Service. Drop boxes, are they secured? They're very secure. They're made of high-grade steel. There's numerous anti-theft mechanisms, anti-theft door jams. So they are very secure. Uh, I welcome you to go check one out. Invitation accepted. These drop boxes around the county are incredibly sturdy. They're made of steel, and the slots where you drop the ballots are so thin, there's no way a thief could get their hand inside. Works for mail-in skeptic Stephanie, who dropped her ballot this afternoon. I make sure every year I either vote in person or I drop it here. So what what is your concern? Well, I, I don't trust the mail for much of anything, yeah. let alone my vote. My vote is important. The conservative think tank Heritage Foundation doesn't either. On its website, claiming mail-in ballots should be very limited and the drop boxes are unsupervised and unsecured. But here in San Diego County, 3,500 poll workers are being trained and will be on duty to check mail-in signatures and handle what is expected to be a high total turnout of 80 to 85 percent of registered voters. And despite the election furor, law enforcement says there are no credible threats. And the registrar says her people are ready. So our folks are trained on de-escalation techniques. So in person or in the mail, let the counting begin. Jim Avila, ABC 10 News. Our new poll shows the local congressional race predicted to be the most competitive may not be close. Our ABC 10 News Union Tribune poll of the 49th District shows incumbent Democrat Mike Levin leading Republican opponent Matt Gunderson 53 to 41 percent with just 5 percent undecided. Levin won his race two years ago against Brian Marriott by five points. His lead in our poll Poll pretty much mirrors Kamala Harris's lead over Donald Trump in the district 54 to 41 percent here in California.